right now at six, a convicted child killer returns to court. Twelve years after the crime, Michael Hernandez goes before a judge hoping to avoid a lifetime in prison. Hernandez was convicted of killing Jamie Goff in Southwood Middle School's bathroom. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has been covering it since the beginning and is live now in Miami with what happened in court. Gary. Well, it was a very da damaging day for this defendant who was convicted as a child of first-degree premeditated murder and sentenced to automatic life in prison with no hope of parole. Well, the United States Supreme Court said you can't do that and made him come back for a resentencing hearing before the same judge who heard this case back in 2008. So far, it's not going well for the defendant. Michael Hernandez came to court hoping to have his life sentence for murdering a classmate reduced. Twelve years ago today, Hernandez lured his friend Jaime Goff into a restroom at Southwood Middle School and butchered the boy, stabbing him more than 40 times. There Hernandez was in Orlando in 2008, convicted and sentenced to life without parole, the jury rejecting an insanity plea. But an appeals court ordered a new sentencing hearing. Today, Andres Martin now a grown man, testified about a classmate drawn to the macabre who made a remarkable declaration. Boy, did this defendant tell you that he wanted to become a serial killer? Yes, that is a statement that, uh, that he made to me. In fact, Martin would later learn Hernandez had a hit list of intended victims, and Martin was intended victim number one. Only by fate did he avoid a bloodbath. Everyone should be killed. Prosecutors played phone calls from Hernandez to his dad talking about serial killers and violent music. His father pushed back. I don't see that he's fascinated with serial killers, and just one song doesn't make a man. Prosecutors played a prison call Hernandez made to a pen pal he found online, joking about how he's never wept, shown emotion. Well, why don't you practice your weekend learning how to cry? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm going to have to stab myself. Most damaging was Hernandez's taped confession to police. We're in the bathroom. Where he described the killing, luring Jaime to the bathroom. Why? In court, Hernandez watched himself answer 12 years ago. Um, I was playing. I was planning to murder him, he said matter-of-factly, as Jaime's father and mother remained composed, reliving a dark history. The state's forensic psychologist has been on the stand all day today, has been cross-examined the last uh, couple of hours by defense attorneys who have tried to pick away at him, but frankly have not scored many points. They, of course, will be putting their own expert or experts on the stand as this resentencing hearing continues. It's expected to last through Friday. For now, we're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.